Hey guys, this is so back from AxiGG and today I'm bringing you a build for you to have some fun playing Axie doll in a different way. So, uh, we are using four aura skills and six familiar skills that shoot around you. So that's a build for you to almost send the seal and kill a lot of stuff in a different way than what we had before. So we have Biden's for healing and Beach for dashing. And that will be the build. Let's go to the gameplay. So, uh, the aura skills, they keep damage, damaging enemies around you. And uh, they do a little extra damage when you touch the enemy. So, our idea is to have all of the skills we pick it up. So you can see that it's we are not going for the bat wave. I only went there because I had the three uh, aura skills ups. So first, what you want to do is to pick a single level of every skills you select. So right now we have three hours and one familiar, and you can see that with three hours you can already run into the green blobs and they will just die right away. For the other ones, you have to kind of dodge them a little bit. And we keep stacking level 1 skills. So, this build is very interesting because uh, it, it gives you some uh, early game uh, fun in a different way. Like, you can run towards the mobs and just dodge a little bit and kill them. It kills the bats. And in the late games, in the late game, it allows you to just stand still. So, right now... We are seeing a build with four hours and two familiars. And at four hours, you are already killing the bats. You see? At four hours, you already have a very solid damage when the enemies go closer to you. Here, I pick the, the beach just because I can move a little faster and collect the gems and uh, kill some of the bats that I I might not be able to, to damage. So I just go there and do a little a few more bats and you see i'm just going for level one in this build once you you have tried this more easy approach where you just get a single level of every skill you can try to choose one of the hours and max it out first so instead of getting like uh shiba now i could have get a uh, level two incisor and go for the for a high level incisor because that will be that will be nice to have in the late game but uh i want to make i wanted to make this run in the way that was easier to to replicate so i just went for the the one level of each skill so right now you can see that one of the very fun parts of this build is when the bosses spawn there is always a, a quickly spawning wave that comes with him so if you kill a lot of enemies in the when the boss is on the screen you keep getting more of them so it's very nice to ignore the boss when they spawn and just go for the their minions uh you saw now that i i started leveling up one of the our skills and i will keep it doing that and when as we have a lot of uh, skills that damage around us and we can just stand the shoe i decide to stand the shoe close to box because well i'm killing all the monsters anyway so on top of that I, i'm gonna get some walk some uh, box kills as well so you can see that i'm getting I, I took some hits but i can I can thank that with the Bidens. Oh, by the way, I'm using uh, I'm not using a uh, spike body type. I'm using the the big yaki uh, the big yaki berry because it's just, it's a more common uh, axi. More more people will have it. And you saw that I I I think I already have le level three uh, of the of the buzz buzz and now what happened is that i was offered only three familiar skills and i i don't want to level up the familiar skills i'm okay with the with them being level one in this build so i wanted to level up any of the hours so i i picked the one reroll and level it up the the risky fish so you can see i'm just ignoring the boss and going trying to kill as many mice as i can so they 
died a lot of times. One more level of the of the bus bus, and we are already dealing some uh, some nice damage to the monster. We are killing them pretty fast, and you can see that the 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 boss is kind of go dying anyway. Even if if I'm not focusing him, but he is dying anyway with our AOE damage. Uh, now again the only our skill available was risky beast so i got it and uh, the the bat waves they can't <laughs> they don't stand a chance anymore they just uh evaporating and we uh we are just in collect some gems and the the first challenge we will see is the 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 rat the rat the the seven minutes boss because we don't have a lot of uh, a lot of focus damage but it's still not uh, a that big of a threat because those those familiar skills they have uh, some of them have like fear or uh, slow and other defensive stats that will keep the the rats away from you for a while. So you can see I'm damaged. It's uh, it's got slowed and freeze and then such a hitting me, but it got to feared. And then he's low again, and he's about to die. Okay, he, we, we got him. And by wave 7, by 7 minutes wall, you should have enough damage to kill at least a couple of walls. The enemies are going towards you anyway. The strategy for you is to stand this still and just uh, let the monsters come to you. So you just uh, use that to grab a few. See, I killed 1, 2, 3. I think I got only 3 skills. Uh, only three walls, but well, that's three extra uh, uh, wall gems. So, at this point, that's the reason we have the the, the dash, the beach, because we needed to survive this this goblin waves. Otherwise, it would take a lot of damage. I tried earlier without the the beach, and it just it just take we take too much damage when we have to dodge uh, manually. So now I you can see that I can just stand still. All the minions are dying. No one is getting closer to me. And when the goblin wave go comes, it's it just die. And now the 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 best part of the build. When nine minutes arrive, you see the boss spawn and you see the flies. So you can see if you don't if you don't move. The flies can touch you, and that's amazing because that's the main problem. The boss are not the main problem in this wave. The flies are. So with this build, with all this damage you are putting out, the flies can touch you if you don't move to them. If you just let them come, they are going to die. And then we are we try to stay next to, to the boss, not moving too fast because if we run too fast into uh into the flies, they will hit us. But if you, we just let them come, they will die first. And then I, again, I just like I did with the box, I try to stand uh, close to some schools and do some damage because at this point the, the enemies are way tougher. So it's it's hard for me to run into them like I was doing uh, before minute eight. So at this point I need to let them come. I, I can't uh, chase the enemies anymore. So I just stand still, close to some walls, and getting some wall, some close to some schools, and I see I got some school kills. Dash away from the goblins, just easy peasy. Uh, let's see now. Now we have the 11 minutes boss. Same strategy again. Right, and this time I will probably run away from it. Uh, right before the the wall spawn. So we just stand. Try not to move too much because we want the the flies to 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 die and then i move away and just wait for the wall to to disappear again like they, they slow and the fear they, they're just enough to to survive this boss and keep collecting the gems keeping getting some extra levels in this run we don't get a, a big of a, a, a high level RSQ, so we, our damage output is not that high. But one thing that you can do is to that strategy that I, that I mentioned earlier 
that you can focus on one of the aura skills. I would say the first one that shows up for level 2, that's what the one I'm going for. And besides that, you once you, you play this run, you understand, you understand how it works. You can try to replace some, uh, some skills and see how it improves. Like, you, you can replace one of the familiar skills, for example, and get something to randle the bosses in a, in a more efficient way. Or get another dash, another shield. The turtle, I don't even try. I don't, I don't get close to the turtle. I just move away from it and do the Narakos, Narakos play, where he just juggles around and keep moving the turtle from one side to the other. And okay, I know that the t the wall disappeared at 34 seconds, so I was pretty safe with that move. And now I just have to. Uh, keep uh, running away from from the turtle uh, At this point actually I uh, of course I need to collect all those gems that I left on the floor But uh, it's good to keep dealing some damage over oh, right now I start dealing some damage to the turtle to avoid it from being alive when the 15 minutes boss spawn But that's that's part of the game for you that uh, haven't played much after this update the new, the new big guy is the 15 minutes boss. He's very strong right now. He's very hard to to survive, and so I I was like, okay, in this run I want to beat the turtle, but I I I was not very confident to to beat the 15 minutes vampire, and you see what happens. I I'm trying to. He's about to spawn. Yeah, he's there. I don't know if he has a higher CC uh, reduction, but that's it. That's a build that you can easily and with some fun survive until the 15 minutes. Here is the damage output. Not very important for you because, well, that's a that's a that's a, just a general strategy that I explained it, and that's it. Focus it on having everything on level one. And then when you feel comfortable with it, you try to get one of these four skills to level 9 and see how it goes. Thank you for watching and see you on the leaderboards.